let's take a look at the new Flow 4 software. When the software first opens, you'll see a welcome screen which makes it really easy to get started. You can choose a mimic, connect to an interface, or open a flowchart that you saved earlier. Let's use a mimic. The Flow All software contains 14 mimics in the core package. These get progressively more difficult and are great so that students can work at their own pace just at the computer. Let's start with the zebra crossing mimic. Here's the mimic on the screen. It can be moved and resized, which is great for classroom demonstrations. If I click here, I can show labels. That makes it easy to see what inputs and outputs I have. And these are also listed on the right hand side here. The zebra crossing just has a single output, the light. And I can click it on and off on the right hand side manually to see what it does. Now let's make a flowchart to control this mimic. All I need to do is drag and drop the symbols onto the page. As I drop them, a prompt box opens, which I can use to fill them in. It's all done with the mouse. We'll begin with the start, and then we'll use an output symbol to turn the light on. After that, we'll delay for two seconds, and then we'll turn the light off. And a final delay at the bottom. If you notice, the name of the output is actually displayed in the symbol on the flowchart. Now let's use the line tool to connect these symbols in the order in which I want them to run. At the bottom I can connect right to the top to have this run in a loop forever. Now if I click the run button, we can see if our flowchart does what we want. And in this case here the light does flash with a period of two seconds. Let's move on to another mimic. I choose new, I can go back to the same welcome screen and this time let's take a look at the big wheel. The big wheel is a three-dimensional mimic and so it has animated graphics. Let's show the labels. Here I have three lights that are outputs on the stand of the big wheel and the wheel itself is a motor which can be rotated forwards or in reverse. There are also two input buttons on the Mimic down here, which the big wheel operator can use. Input 1, the button, and button 2. I can actually click these directly on the Mimic. Now let's first write a flowchart to control the flashing lights using button 1. Again, we drag and drop the flowchart symbols onto the page. So we first want to say, is that button 1 on? And if it is, Let's flash the lights. Let's say I have red on, yellow off, and blue on. Pause for, say, half a second. And then we want to turn the lights into the reverse direction. So let's say red off, yellow on, blue off. Now I want to put another delay at the bottom down here for half a second. I can just click this button to zoom out a little bit so I can see the full flowchart. Now a decision symbol here needs two lines from it. We need a yes line, and then we need a no line. Here we'll proceed if the button is on, or we'll just have the computer wait and continue to check the status of the button if it happens to be off. We'll proceed down, and then we'll loop back to the top, and we'll check the status of the button on each loop. Let's press run and see if this works. So I can pretend to be the operator, click on the button on the page, and we see that flashes the lights when the button's on, Click it again to toggle it off. Now let's write another flowchart to control the actual wheel itself using button 2. Stop it running. Flow all can do more than one thing at a time, so I can put two starts on the page. Now let's use the status of button 2. Ask the question, is button 2 on? If it is, let's turn the wheel, which is a motor, forwards. Then let's wait for button 2 to go off. And then let's turn the wheel back off again. Again, we'll use the line tool to connect these up. One from the start to the decision symbol. We need a yes line here, and then a no line to keep checking. Move from the wheel to the decision symbol. Again, we need a yes line and a no line. And then from the bottom, we'll loop back to the top. Let's see this work. Now we can use input button 1 to turn the lights on. 
and button two when on will turn the wheel and then I can stop it again by pressing the button. Let's try that again. If you notice each time one of the carriages of the wheel gets to the steps it triggers this yellow triangle, a virtual input switch in the Mimic. Now we can use that input to stop the wheel at just the right place to let people get on and off. Let's modify our flowchart to do that. If I click on this symbol again I can edit this decision condition to say is the step switch on? If it is we then want to turn the wheel off. Let's delete this line and then we'll insert a delay at the end for five seconds to make sure that the wheel stops for at least a reasonable amount of time for someone to get on or off. Let's run this program and see how it works. So using button one we can turn the lights on Let's hide the labels and then we can use button 2 to rotate the wheel. It gets to the steps and after 5 seconds it will check the status of that input again so the operator can advance it as appropriate to the next wheel. Now we actually need to insert a delay here before we check the status of the steps input to give chance for that carriage to move out of the way. Let's try it again now. Use button 1 to turn the lights on, button 2 to rotate the wheel. It stops at this carriage, let people get on and off, and then as we rotate around the flowchart again, it will stop at the next one. This particular mimic can then be extended further to perhaps count the carriages, uh, use the input on the gate as a safety feature. Let's take a quick look at the available interfaces that Flow 4 has. If I go back to the welcome screen and choose connect to an interface, we can see a whole range. The Flogo, Commotion Coco, Deltronics interface, Control Station, and the new Fisher Technic Robo GX interface, as well as many other control boxes. If I scroll down, we can see that Flow 4 also supports the Brainy and the Pickaxe microcontrollers. Now, go back to the web page, take a look at the tutorial, and perhaps sign up for the free 10-day trial.